Hello students, welcome to Maths class. Today, we are going to start with the chapter Parallel Lines. And objectives of the chapter are Parallel Lines, Transversal, Angles formed on parallel lines like alternate, corresponding, co-interior angles, Properties of angles on parallel lines, Find unknown angles. Lines are parallel or not. Now students, as we have already done types of lines, in which you have learnt about perpendicular lines, intersecting lines and parallel lines. So, what do you mean by parallel lines? Yes. Parallel lines are the lines which do not intersect each other at any point even if they extended indefinitely. Here L and M. These two lines are not intersecting at any point. Therefore, L is parallel to M. Now this symbol represents symbol of parallel lines. Similarly, here line AB and CD, these two lines are parallel to each other. Therefore, AB parallel to CD. And here, P is parallel to Q. Now, in this figure, as you can see, L is parallel to M. And a straight line N is cutting or intersecting line L and M at point A and B respectively. So, a straight line that intersects two or more lines in a plane that is known as transversal. So, here L is parallel to M and line N is transversal. Now, how many angles will form when a transversal cuts two parallel lines? Here, L is parallel to M and N is transversal. Now, let's count number of angles formed. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 angles formed when a transversal cuts two parallel lines. Now, let's see the types of angles. Here, first one is vertically opposite angles. Now, when a line cut other line at a point, there will be opposite angles that are known as vertically opposite angles. Here angle 1 and angle 3. These are vertically opposite angles. Similarly angle 2 and angle 4. These are also vertically opposite angles. And what relation exists between them? Yes, vertically opposite angles are equal. Therefore, angle 1 equals to angle 3 and angle 2 equals to angle 4. Now, second type is alternate angles. So, wherever Z shape will form, Angles are known as alternate angles. Here, as you can see, there are three lines. So, first two lines, inside there is angle 1 and with other two lines, inside there is angle 2. So, here angle 1 and angle 2. These are lying in Z shape. Therefore, angle 1 and angle 2, these are alternate angles. 
in this figure angle 3 and angle 4 these are alternate angles similarly in this figure angle 5 and angle 6 these are alternate angles and alternate angles are also equal therefore angle 1 equals to angle 2 here angle 3 equals to angle 4 and in the third figure angle 5 equals to angle 6. Now corresponding angles. Corresponding angles will form when F shape or stairs like shape is there. So here angle 1 and angle 2 these are corresponding angles. Similarly, angle 3 and angle 4, these are at the upper side of F shape, so they are also corresponding angles. And remember, corresponding angles are also equal. Therefore, angle 1 equals to angle 2 and similarly, angle 3 equals to angle 4. Now, the next time. Co-interior angles. Co-interior angles form when big bracket is there. Here, this is one of the big bracket. So here, this is angle 1, this is angle 2. Similarly, one more big bracket is there in the opposite side. So this one is angle 3 and this is angle 4. What relation exists between them? Sum of two co-interior angles is 180 degree. So here angle 1 plus angle 2 equals to 180 degree. Similarly angle 3 plus angle 4 equals to 180 degree. Now next linear pair angles. Here linear pair angles will form when there are two adjacent angles on a straight line or you can say when T shape is there. So here angle 1, angle 2, these two are linear pair angles. Similarly here angle 3 and angle 4, these are linear pair angles. So again what relation is there? That is sum of linear pair angles equals to 180 degree. So here angle 1 plus angle 2 equals to 180 degree. And from this figure angle 3 plus angle 4 equals to 180 degree. So let's see what you have understood. Here in given figure AB parallel to CD. Here this is AB and this is CD. EF is transversal. Here this line is transversal named as EF. Identify the given pair of angles. Now first one is angle 1 and angle 4. Now this is angle 1 and this is angle 4. They are forming at cross shape. So these two angles are vertically opposite angles. Now next angle 4 and angle 5. So here this is angle 4 and this is angle 5. Now they are forming Z shape. So angle 4 and angle 5 these are alternate angles. Next angle 4 and angle 6. This is angle 4 and this is angle 6. Now see, here big bracket is forming. So they are co-interior angles. Now next angle 4 and angle 8. These are forming F shape. So these are corresponding angles. And the last one is angle 1 and angle 5. Again 1 and 5 they are forming stairs like shape. So these two are also corresponding angles. Now see one more example. Here 
In given figure, identify following pairs of angles. When L is parallel to M and N is transversal. First is angle 1 and angle 3. Here this is angle 1 and this is angle 3. So they are forming vertically opposite angles. Now you just see here I have done marking anti-clockwise. Now angle 3 and angle 6. They are forming a big bracket. So these are co-interior angles. Here angle 1 and angle 5. They are forming F shape or stairs like shape. Therefore these are corresponding angles. Now 3 and Z. These angles are forming Z shape. Therefore angle 3 and angle 5. These are alternate angles. Angle 4 and angle 8. Again they are forming F shape. Therefore these are corresponding angles. Next angle 4 and angle 6. This is angle 4 and this is angle 6. Now see they are forming Z shape. So these two angles are alternate angles. Now angle 3 and angle 7. These are forming F shape and both are down to F shape. Therefore these are corresponding angles. And the last one is angle 1 and angle 2. Here this is angle 1 and this is angle 2. So these two are adjacent angles on a straight line or you can say they are forming T shape. Therefore these two are linear pair angles. So students, today we have learned what are parallel lines, transversal, angles formed on parallel lines. So I hope you have understood the concept. So with the help of this video, I hope you all will be able to do the related sums given in your SNAP homework. Thank you. Have a nice day.